Hey, it's Joseph here. Sorry for pulling you out of this bag, but I want to talk about this one. I've been enjoying this backpack from Bravity for the past six months as they have sent me this bag to try out and make a video about it. This specific model is jumper model and it is a regular size. I understand they have a slightly larger size as well, but the regular size can fit everything that I carry around regularly. It is a bit hard to tell over the camera, but overall fabric is very smooth and very pleasant to touch. It is water and weather resistant to keep rain and dirt away as well. And actually the zippers are strangely smooth, making it very easy to open the pockets as well. Overall, it is inconspicuous like a regular backpack, but the bottom side is meant for your cameras and precious gears, whilst the top half is for your other stuff, I guess more regular stuff. Let's open it up. Admittedly, it is quite messy in here, but I keep all of my chargers and cables that I use regularly in this pocket. By the way, I recently showcased this battery slash charger from Anchor. Please check that video out if you have not seen it. And as I have said, I can easily unzip this pocket and reach in to grab stuff quick. This is quite an important aspect to me because then I can easily grab the charger to connect it up at a cafe or at the gate of your flight. And I can clump things back in together if I need to go somewhere else or get in the line for my flight. Perhaps having an organizer of some sort might help to tidy this pocket up, but having a easy and quick access into this pocket was my utmost priority. So yeah, I'm not gonna do that. And also if I'm on a flight, I'm gonna place this backpack below the seat in front of me and I'm gonna try to grab stuff between my legs without looking. So having the chargers on the top pocket would be quite important. For people who wears headphones, you can certainly put a large headphones in this pocket as well. Actually in here, there is sort of this secret compartment and I place smaller items in here, my headphone and earbuds, as well as business card and keys and stuff like that. And on the back, this is where the laptop is stored as this is a padded pocket on the back and it is also easy to reach between my legs on the flight. And this is my current daily driver, Asus ZenBook 14 OLED. Yeah, the 14 inch laptop can easily fit in here. I think you can do the 15 as well. And actually, I have iPad Pro along with it because I often carry the tablet together. If we lay this back down below the top half, this is where the camera and the gears will live. This is all cushioned and divided into different compartments. You can configure however you would like to configure as this is all sort of Velcros. You can actually undo this top flap up here to make one large room if you want to do that. But for me, I want to divide things that I regularly use versus my precious gears at the bottom. So I have put up the divider and have done a bit more configuring within so I can just put different type of devices. And depending on where I'm going and what I'm planning on doing, I fill out this pocket with different things. I try to fit everything that I would carry around. These are two 360 cameras from Insta360 and this is Sony ZV-E1 my vlog camera. But if I'm having a typical day in an office or a cafe, I can just carry my mouse in here if I want to, or I can carry it in this other pocket, which is up here. And that's my mouse spot. If I'm going on a site survey, that's when I would carry these type of gears, like my 360 cameras, as well as my short leg for the monopod thrown in, in there so that they are all sort of protected against each other as well as being able to carry around a monopod on the side. And you can easily store a water bottle on this pocket as well. The normal carrying spot for tripod is actually at the bottom as well. There is a strap. 
So you can do that as well, but I don't like putting my bag down and actually damaging my monopod or tripod. So my preferred spot is actually the water bottle spot. But again, you can easily store your water bottle in here and stay hydrated. And you can see that there is this clip over here for you to be able to strap things around if you need additional support for longer items. Like that. But as I have quite a bit of a space, I can put other things such as my flashlight, my measuring tool, as well as some more lighting stuff for better photos. And for the international travelers, you can store important documents such as passport into this secret pocket that's on the side. And another point for being able to stand on its own. I do see a lot of backpacks just fall on its face when you just kind of let it down, but this one doesn't, or at least not with the items on the very bottom. If you have a lot of gears like this inside of this bag, it is definitely gonna feel heavy, but it is still very comfortable to carry around. So I wouldn't have problem carrying this backpack around even with this kind of weight. This side pocket allows quick access for your cameras, making it perfect for vlogs and travel camera photography type of setup. And another thing that I really appreciate on this backpack, you can see that the overall back is quite well padded as well as having this strap for hooking it onto your roller bag. I am quite satisfied with all of these pocket arrangements. One thing that I wish is maybe for an additional laptop or tablet pocket on the very back so that I can store my tablet separate from the laptop. On my site survey, I put my iPad onto this thick protective case along with the strap on it. And whilst I could put my tablet into the backpack in this case, I can't put it together with my laptop. Perhaps the larger version of this backpack might be able to do that, but I have not been able to confirm it. So whether you commute daily or travel occasionally like I do, if you ever carry around any cameras or expensive gears, then I would recommend using this so that you can keep them protected as well as being able to carry it easily. So we were quickly checking out my daily driver backpack from Bravity, the jumper, regular size, black version. And if you wanna know more about any of the items that I have showcased in this video, please leave a question down in a comment. I'll be happy to answer them and provide you any information. If you found any value in this video, please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel to continue watching these type of videos. Thank you so much. As always, I'll see you next time. Bye.